Hi guys, it's me again. Today we're going to be looking at story mapping. So yesterday I read the story The Tunnel by Anthony Brown to you and what I've done here is I've story mapped what happens in the story. So I'm going to use this to remind you of what happens in the story. Please don't laugh at my pictures, you know I'm not great at drawing but I persevered and tried my best. So we have a boy and a girl and they live together, they're brother and sister. The girl likes reading and the boy likes playing football. At night the boy is fast asleep and the girl is wide awake because she's scared of the dark and her brother likes playing little tricks on her and scaring her because he knows that she will not like her. The next day the mum says to them, go out together, be nice to each other for once, because like all brothers and sisters, sometimes we argue, sometimes we get along, sometimes we don't, but that's just what brothers and sisters or siblings are like. They end up going to a waste ground, which just has lots of rubbish and flies, and then they notice a tunnel. And the boy says, I'm going to go through the tunnel. I want to see what's on the other side. And the girl says, no, no, I'm too scared. So here she is, a little upset and scared. The boy goes without her. Then she decides that she needs to go in to find him because she waited and waited and he didn't come back. So she needs to do something about it to help her brother. So she goes through the tunnel and it's described as being dark, damp, slimy and scary. When she gets to the other side of the tunnel, she's in a forest or a wood, so I've drawn some trees here. And all she can think about, and I've drawn a witch here, are scary things that she knows from fairy tales. So what do you know? Let's have a think. Ooh. Have some thinking time. Okay, did any of you say a big scary goblin? If you did, great. Did some of you say big scary wolf? Maybe some of you said a giant, any of those things, but she's absolutely petrified. So she's so scared that she ends up running through the woods and then she sees her brother in the clearing. Who can remember what the word clearing means from the video I did the other day? Oh, well done if you said something that all the trees have gone. This is my tree stumps being cut down. And there's her brother and he's been turned into stone. She gets really upset and starts to cry because that's her brother, she needs him. So she goes over to him and hugs him and suddenly he turns back to human again. Together they go through the tunnel and they're really happy now and getting along and their mum comes home. She says, hmm, is everything all right? And they say nothing, they just smile because they're brother and sister and now they're getting on. They've got a little bond and a secret between themselves. So they just keep quiet and smile. So this story was all about relationships with your brothers and sisters and how you need each other and you can work together. And even though the girl Rose in the story was so scared, she was brave and she went and saved her brother and that's the moral of the story. So in the last video I asked you to think about different endings. So when they go through the tunnel instead of being in a woods where could they be? Now I bet Kevin said space because Kevin I know you love space so maybe your characters end up going to space. What other ideas could you come up with? Oh, maybe you are on a island on a lovely sandy beach, or maybe you're somewhere that's look, got lots and lots of snow and big, huge mountains. Maybe you're in a castle in the dungeon. Whatever your ending was, I want you to story map your story. Some of you can just finish the ending from this part. So instead of going to a woods, they go to somewhere else. Some of you can come up with a whole new adventure story thinking about the characters and where they go. So for today, you need some paper and a pencil and I would like you to story map your story. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!